In 1969, Saturn V launched. This is the most powerful launch vehicle in the history of mankind. It's Apollo 11 which was carried by it, and it's about to send the first human to the moon. It turns out that the most powerful force in the world is by our side, which is hydrogen and oxygen. Basically, the current launch vehicle also uses the same idea to produce power of Saturn V. By using liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen, and hydrogen peroxide, a rocket can be launched and send a human to space. However, there is a small insect in the nature has already mastered the same chemical method as early as hundreds of millions of years ago. It even has a set of chemical factory which is more advanced than Saturn V evolved and installed into its body. This little insect is called brachinoid, or commonly named as bombardier beetle. Let's talk about its story today. Eisner is a biology freak who loved to play with all kinds of poisonous insects, and he is the world authority in evolution field. A bombardier beetle is an insect that ignores evolution. This sentence is a difficult problem that Eisner left to the world. How could it evolve and install the chemical factory in his body? In 1957, Eisner has conducted an experiment. He let a frog to go and eat a bombardier beetle. A clear sound has been heard. Before the frog's mouth to close, it shaked its legs and its head and spit out the bombardier beetle very soon. Eisner replaced the frog by a more ferocious toad. It is one of the strongest poisonous animal, which is a nightmare for various poisonous insects. As expected, the toad swallowed up the bombardier beetle in one bite. Eisner thought it was over, so he put the toad back. After 40 minutes, Eisner suddenly heard the toad screaming. He ran over and took a look. The toad actually spitted the bombardier beetle out again. The bombardier beetle was covered in mucus. It stood up and hunt down the toad. Eisner was shocked. This little thing has actually survived for 40 minutes in the gastric juice in the toad. So what was it doing during this 40 minutes? Your fart is stored in your intestines that you are able to adjust the gate and release it casually. Cover your nose and pretending to look at people around you in disgust. On the other hand, the fart of bombardier beetle is stored in specialized organs. There are two kinds of raw materials in the jar above, which are hydroquinone and hydrogen peroxide. And there are two enzymes stored below. When it's going to fart, it open the gate and mix the raw materials with the enzymes. This will cause an instant explosion after that, producing a high temperature that exceeds 100. The high temperature directly cause one-fifth of liquid bullet to vaporize and thus generate high pressure. The hot bullets and steam spurted out in such way. The benzoquinone in the bullets is highly corrosive. When it's spurted on the enemy, it damages not only with high temperature physical damage, but also a magic damage. This magic damage has also strong marking effect because the benzoquinone itself has a strong smell. Its adhesion and penetration are also very strong. Once caught, the smell will last for a long time. Back then, my buddies helped a senior to catch a bombardier beetle. As a result, the hand was burnt into yellow and stinks for several days. In 1997, a news in Taiwan reported that a primary school student was hit by this bullet in his eye, and he suffered a severe visual impairment. 20 bullets is stored in the arsenal of the bombardier beetle. Every shot can produce a spurt that lasts for about a second, and this one second is divided into 500 pulse bombs, which launches sequentially. High temperature steam boiling water and benzoquinone all sprayed onto the predator's face in an instant. Although it's not fatal, but the clear sound and the fume will definitely become the eternal nightmare of all predators. Eisner guessed that the bombardier beetle in the toad's stomach was constantly launching bullets throughout the 40 minutes and forced the toad to spit it out after spitted it out. The problem came again. The toad's gastric juice is a highly poisonous and acidic. 
but the carapace of the bombardier beetle was completely unhurt. How could it be unhurt? In the further experiment, Eisner observed that the bullets released by the bombardier beetle will sometimes burn itself, but it won't hurt. It seems that bombardier beetle has evolved to have a perfect mecha, at the same time when it evolved to have the super strong weapon. In 2018, a teenager Japanese scientist has repeated the experiment. The Japanese Academy of Sciences used two toads in the experiment. One is Bufo Japonicus, the another one is the ferocious Japanese toad. At the same time, two kinds of bombardier beetles were used. One bombardier beetle has been processed in advance that its 20 bullets have been emptied. The other is a bombardier beetle full of bullets. Then he let the two toads to eat the two bombardier beetle. If it is really the bullets which forces the toad to spit it out, then the proportion of being spit out should be like this. The proportion of which is fully loaded is much larger than the empty. Sure enough, the experiment confirmed the hypothesis. Bufo Japonicus ate 14 full loaded ones and spitted out 8 of them, ate 14 more empty ones and spitted out 2 of them. When it was replaced by a more ferocious Japanese toad, it ate 23 fully loaded ones and spitted out 8 of them, ate another 23 empty ones and didn't spit it any of them out. In this teenager experiment, he also got some other amazing data. First, among the bombardier beetle that was spitted out, there were 93.8% of them have survived for more than two weeks. The longest one survived 562 days. This has far exceeded its normal lifespan. Could it be the legendary five poison sacred venomous insect? If you eat it, it can keep you safe for all kinds of poison. Secondly, the fastest one has been spitted out only 10 seconds before it was swallowed up, while the longest one has finally been spitted out 107 minutes after it was swallowed up. In the world's area, except Antarctica, there are more than 500 kinds of bombardier beetle. Chinese bombardier beetle is tamer, while the Africa bombardier beetle is the most ferocious. It even evolved to be able to cast its unique skill directly to the target in front without having to turn around. Professor Eric Arndt, who studies bombers in MIT, said that if the explosion chamber in the bombardier beetle has the size of a car, the power it exploded will be about the power of simultaneous explosion of 200 grenades. If there is also such a chemical factory above our bomber, it will fly higher and farther even into the space. Someone said that the bombardier beetle is the mech designed by an alien and left on the earth. They deliberately to let humans to learn from it. It's because the chief designer of Saturn V, Von Braun, is an amateur insect lover. There is also an interesting story in the Martian rescue. It's said that in 1939, Caltech has a troublesome student organization called the Rocket Team. They conducted experiments in the dormitory all day and blasted through the walls of the dormitory. Then the school kicked them out of the dormitory and found a river valley for them as their experimental base. After that, this experimental base built on the river valley has become NASA's most important site called Jet Propulsion Laboratory today. Among the five founders of the rocket group, there is a name we are familiar with which is Qian Shuesen. Rocket Team are all insect fans. When they were launching rockets in the valley, there were various insects around them. Qian Shuisen's good friend, who also the original founder of the Rocket Team, Jack Parsons, believe in black magic superpowers and insects. He has always believed that insects have already flown out of the earth into the space. The way human design rocket is just following the insects. Maybe this method of propulsion by constant farting behind the tail could be the power fly in space in the future human interstellar city. Don't be surprised. Blasting with nuclear bombs and pushing interstellar city to flight. This is currently the most reliable kind of interstellar power that the scientists could think of. Today, scientists from various countries are studying bombardier beetles secretly. Maybe 
this is another reverse engineering of alien Mecca. Back to 1955, in Massachusetts, a Harvard graduate student kneeled on the grass, moved away a stone, and found a little beetle. He grabbed it with bare hands and got burned. From then on, this graduate student decided to study on the beetle. He is actually the mad entomologist, Eisner. Eisner caught the bombardier beetle to the laboratory. The first thing is to soak it into cold water to freeze it. Then, carefully grasp with his hands and glue its back with resin before hanging in midair. After that, Eisner began his fancy researching. He played for a few days and came to the first conclusion. There are about 20 bullets in the beetle's body. If they are launched out, it needs to spend 18 to 26 hours to refill these 20 bullets. Eisner inspected the composition of the bullet. It's benzoquinone. So Eisner brought a piece of paper which indicates benzoquinone and put it under the beetle. He pulled its left leg, it sprayed a large swath to the left. Pulled its right leg, a large swath to the right. Pulled the tail, it sprayed backwards. Pressed its head, it bent its tail and shoot forward. Eisner came to the second conclusion. The bullet of the bombardier beetle has 270 desader full coverage. Next fancy experiment. Come on, fight against the spider. It defeat the opponent easily. Come on, fight against frog and toad. It won again. In the third game, the opponent was directly replaced with a large vertebrate. Puff, puff, puff. Several times in spurting sound, the bullets were shot on the face and it won again. Eisner was very happy. He loved this bombardier beetle very much. After he became famous, Eisner wrote a book entitled Love Insects, and the bombardier beetle has occupied the position of the headlines. However, the way Eisner expressed his love was so unique that he dissected the beetle. There are two glands in the beetle. One secretes hydrogen peroxide, the another secretes hydroquinone. There is an explosion chamber under the ammunition chamber. The impulse muscles in the blasting chamber control the dose precisely and eject it in pulses. This buffers the momentary high-energy explosion and prevents it from hurting itself. Soon after, Eisner entered into a state of madness. He put a bombardier beetle into his mouth to experience the feeling of a predator. After several times of puffs, Eisner felt a severe burning sensation. He tasted the fart slowly and finally spitted the beetle out. Within a few weeks, he only needed to open his mouth to let the people around him want to vomit. That bad breath was too sour and smelly. During the process of researching, Eisner found a letter from Darwin. The letter said that during those years in Cambridge, Darwin enjoyed collecting all kinds of beetles. Once, he peeled off a bark and saw at least two rare beetles at a glance at a glance. Darwin grabbed one in each hand. At that moment, he saw the third beetle, which was a brand new variety. In a rush, Darwin put the beetle in his right hand into his mouth. Then, the beetle sprays acid that caused a sharp pain on him. Darwin felt that his tongue was about to burn out. He quickly spitted the beetle out. Eisner was excited when he read here. He believed that the insect that Darwin put into his mouth was exactly a bombardier beetle, as he had a deep understanding of this feeling. To verify this conjecture, Eisner visited Darwin's hometown. Darwin's collection of beetles were displayed at the site. As expected, Eisner found the bombardier beetle with a glance. Then, Eisner designed another experiment. He wanted to verify. The bullet sprayed by the bombardier beetle is actually hot or not. It's because with only the sensation of the tongue and fingers, he couldn't identify that the burning sensation is caused by high temperature or corrosive. He made a special thermometer which connected to the oscilloscope and fix a bombardier beetle in front of the thermometer before let it release the bullets. In the next step, Eisner also wants to take a clear picture on the process. So he designed another shutter connected to microphone that only a puff sound will make the shutter to take picture. Using this method, humans saw the sparks released by the bullets at the first time. Many insects are masters in chemistry. They are good at magic attack. There is a kind of ant that sprays formic acid in the African jungle. 
No one dares to offend them. Lion, cheetah, gorilla, all of them are defeated by them. Even the crow in the sky will be attacked by magic damages if it entered their territory. But the natural enemy of this ant is exactly the African bombardier beetle. Every night, the bombardier beetle will stroll around at the ant's territory. The soldier ants will swarm up, and the bombardier beetle will use the magic gatling on its butt to sweep them out. The pioneer ants suffered heavy casualties. Their formic acid could never hurt the bombardier beetle. The ant colony lost the pheromones secreted by the pioneer ants to guide them. They will become scattered. Then, it's the turn of the bombardier beetle to hunt and kill at its will. Nature is so wonderful, especially for the arthropods and the insects all over the world. In the deep sea, underground, ground surface, even in the body of animals. They could be found in these places. 80% of the animal species on Earth are arthropod insects. When you observe each of their unique survival skills carefully, you will find that they are well-designed, prehistoric, futuristic technology. They have the perfect suspension wings, abnormal eyes that can see 16 primary colors, and even the minimalist structure, which is most likely to be smartly designed gear. In that time when I read about Darwin and Eisner's story of eating beetles, I have always wanted to know, Benzokinone burst, what kind of taste does it have? Later I came across a document. Some people say that by magnifying the taste of eating jujube together with banana by 1,000 times, the resultant taste will almost be the same as eating a bombardier beetle. Would you like to taste it once? <laughs>